I was the guy that was late, that was not here when he was called. I am a very reliable comedian. I know what you're all thinking, and the answer is yes. I did make the decision to leave the house dressed as a zookeeper. It's like you got a young crowd, my age kind of. I wish you were my age. You guys on Instagram? Instagrammers? Yeah. Cool. What's every up with every girl trying to go hiking right now? Have you guys seen this? Yeah? You search hashtag hiking. It's just chicks and their dogs. They're not even at the park. I, uh, I saw a girl last week. She took a selfie at Stone Mountain. She had like all this gear on, her backpack and boots and stuff. And then the gondola was in the background. I don't know about that, y'all. I don't know. I think social media is kind of weird. Brings out our fun side and whatnot. I was uh, coming home the other night. I see this kid at the edge of his driveway. He's got his phone facing out. And I was like, what? Oh, he's playing Pokemon Go. So I was like, I'm gonna take a Snapchat of this kid because I'm an adult. <laughs> I was gonna say something like, ha, huh, kids these days. And then I thought, now what's weirder, this kid playing his virtual reality game outside or me, a 26 year old, taking a picture of a kid? Yeah, I decided I was the weird one, kind of thought about my life a little bit. Still took the snap though. <laughs> I hadn't posted anything that day. I know. Trends are fun, you know. Transgender, that's doing really well right now. It seemed to uh, take off. Yes, it did. Um, something I noticed not doing well that seems to have some trouble taking off, trans race. Like uh, like that white lady who tried to say she was black and everyone was like, no, no, you're not. People of all races just went. <laughs> and then uh, Michael Jackson, he tried to be white when he changed his skin and started molesting kids. Just normal white guy stuff. Why are child molesters only white dudes in their 40s? Like, you got like 14 years to go. <laughs> But uh, so I, I thought, like, what if I identified as a Chinese man? And I'd have to figure out what kind, specifically a Chinese tourist from the 1980s. Even though I was born in 91, I've been here my whole life, that's just how I see myself. And uh, maybe I'd like walk around like with a Hawaiian shirt tucked in and like a, a camera around my neck. And people would be like, well, how did you like know this about yourself? And I'd say, oh, well, I always knew. Because like uh, when I was a kid, I'd be like, Dad, can we eat with chopsticks for dinner tonight? He'd be like, no, we don't eat with those in this house. Throw those away. Very difficult growing up Chinese in a <laughs> southern home. Yes, a lot of controversy there, huh? Of course, that's all hypothetical. My dad doesn't talk like that. Thank goodness, right? We got some, we got some political folks in here tonight, anybody? No? <laughs> yeah. And, huh? Yeah, people didn't pay attention for a while and, uh, this happened. <laughs> so good job. No, but I think I have a solution that will actually rebuild back a fan base. Kind of stole from the NFL, but just imagine fantasy government leagues. <laughs> That's right, you'll have dudes like running home every night, baby, be quiet. I gotta watch the debate. They're discussing texting laws, and Anthony, where's my starting lineup? <laughs> yeah, you'd be freaking out if Anthony was on your team. <laughs> I think uh, like a point system is a great way to keep politicians in line. Like uh, five points if a congressman shows up to Congress. <laughs> Penalties too, though, if it's like a prostitute or something that oppresses get all mad. Like, oh, Herman Cain again! <laughs> Never gonna make the playoffs this year. <laughs> you have a reason to care. So, anywho, I love doing stand up, folks. Sometimes I get a little nervous coming up here because I'm like a sweaty guy. And I'll be like backstage thinking about it, like, oh, please don't. Please don't get pit stains. Please don't get them. And wham. I get the pit stains because I was nervous about getting the pit stains. That's called the placebo effect. It is very real. All right, that's going to be my time, folks. Thank you so much. Have a great night, everybody.